Did anybody order a glute parachute? That's my new thing. When leggings literally have kangaroo pouches built in, that's their new name, glute parachutes. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Lazuli's up and coming launch. None other than the Sculpt Seamless. This is launching May 12th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now if you remember back to my very first Lazuli label video, I tried these leggings out, but it wasn't the scrunch version. Do you remember that? No? Okay. Well, just to refresh your memory, I liked them. I thought they were pretty good, but the one downfall, other than the compression around the legs being very tight, was the lack of glute space. It was kind of giving me a unibutt. And you know me, I don't live for things like that. However, because it is the very first time we're actually talking about this scrunch seamless, we're gonna be doing a full in-depth review here. Testing out the new colors. I actually wore them to the gym a few times. I have so much to say about the bottoms and the bras. I have every single item in a size small, my true size. I'll have measurements here as well as down below. If you see anything that catches your eye in today's video, feel free to use my code GATA at checkout. It does save you 10% off of all your Lazuli label orders, and it does go towards helping out this channel. Three pieces are launching. We have long biker shorts, leggings, and sports bras. Every single piece is coming in these five colors, which are periwinkle blue, we have bone gray, taupe brown, rich brown, and charcoal gray. And luckily they're coming in all the colors. So you don't have to just be like, well, I wanted that color, but it's only coming in the biker shorts. Damn. I respect how simple their launches are in that aspect. Let's chat about the bottoms first, and then we'll move on to the halter style sports bra. I can't take that seriously <laughs> when just looking at it as is. It's funny. When you wear it though, it's not funny no more because it seriously makes the glutes look fire. So I'm gonna start off by saying something about the glutes because I think this is why we're all here. The sculpt, it is literally meant to sculpt your backside. The first thing I noticed about this extra pouchy space, when I put them on, the actual glutes had zero compression, which I like. It really does help to just let your glutes breathe, move around, and be themselves. This ribbing all around the glutes, extremely compressive. To the point where I actually had to put in some effort to bring them up where they should be. In order for this to look how it's supposed to look, this ribbing needs to fall right underneath your glutes. I do feel like the sizing's okay. I can stick with my true size small. You're somebody who has much larger thighs than me. You might wanna consider sizing up because I think you're gonna really struggle with the rib. I also believe if you're somebody who has naturally small glutes, there could be a chance that you're gonna have extra baggage around this glute parachute. And nobody likes baggage. Not in their love life and certainly not in their leggings. But if you wanna give them a shot, and you have naturally really thin legs, small glutes, and if you're in between, that's the only time I would suggest sizing down, really. Every other situation in between, size up, all because of this ribbing. Now, when it comes to the waistband, the waistband is very squared off. There's no taper. It's actually pretty similar to the rest of Lazuli Label's leggings in the sense that they're not highly compressive, but it's not as relaxed as the V-seam waistband. There's slightly more compression in the Sculpt Seamless, but not enough compression for me to classify these as a high support waistband. So there's a lot of different supports happening in just these shorts and leggings. You have moderate in the waistband, low in the glute space, high around the thighs. Three different compressions happening in one piece. Now given all the crazy compression and contour going on throughout this legging, it's still very stretchy. I wouldn't want to wear it to the gym if it wasn't. That's a fact. But do keep in mind the stretch does vary depending on where you're stretching from. So the leg itself, okay, has a nice four-way stretch. The ribbing, not so much. When just holding the leggings and shorts as is, like I am right now, the scrunch could appear to have a cat hole look to it. But when you actually put them on, it molds around the glutes so nicely. One thing I do wanna note about this scrunch, it's a long one and it isn't stretchy. It's not a stretchy scrunch. If I'm pulling it, it's not moving. This isn't to that extent where it's very uncomfortable. These I really didn't have an issue with where I'm like, okay, I can't get behind this. It's doable for me. Now do keep in mind, every single color has a slight moral design to them. Not a heavy moral, it's barely there. And they all have printed tonal logos. What I love about these biker shorts is how long they go. They gave these biker shorts a nine inch inseam. All it's gotta do is just go over the kneecap a little bit and then they're capris on me. 
I like that because I really wouldn't be able to wear these <laughs> with this heavy compression around my thighs if they were shorter. These don't roll up. These are way too long to play those games. I felt like the real two darkest colors fit slightly more compressive throughout the entire legging. We're talking waistband and throughout. That's including that heavy duty ribbing too. I had slightly more difficulty in the rich brown and the charcoal gray. In fact, in some of the footage, you might be able to detect that. You can see right in the midsection, I start to bulge out a little bit in the darker colors where I did not feel that and I did not experience it in the lighter colors. This is another reason why I'm really gravitating towards the periwinkle blue and that taupe brown. This is a very, very cellulite friendly legging. It's also not bad at wicking. Now sweat does show through, okay? I perform the sweat test on every single color. Naturally, you see the sweat more in the lighter tones. However, it does dry your skin off very fast and overall the material dries at a reasonable rate. But that's to be expected when you have material this thick. I think these are really great gym leggings for the sole purpose that it's kind of heavy duty. It's not a ultra buttery, soft second skin feel. You do have some soft spots, but there's so much ribbing contour happening on this legging that the majority of this legging really is rough and tough. The only downfall for these leggings, for me, now this is just for me and how they're fitting me, I do feel like the darker colors are very, very tough to get on with the ribbing being so compressive. I do feel like they're a little bit long on me as well. This isn't the type of material that's ultra forgiving either, so I really can't shimmy them up and make it work, so there's a little bit of length. They're fairly breathable, but they're not to the extent where I'm wearing them all summer long, the leggings specifically. They are of a thicker material, like I said before, so if you're wearing them on a really hot summer day, those leggings, especially the dark ones, you might be in trouble, girl. And last but not least, when it comes to sheerness, these are all very good in that department. I'd give them around 85, 90% each. I know when I get to a real low squat, you might be able to see some shine. It's not necessarily seeing through the legging. I do think the material shines out ever so slightly, but you're definitely not seeing any underwear. I do think these are really good glute aesthetic gym oriented leggings. I do feel like this material is gym friendly. I think the compression is where it should be, especially to emphasize the glutes. I'm telling you, they do work hand in hand. The ribbing, the scrunch, the extra glute parachute space, they really do work together to sculpt you out as best as possible. We have got to talk about these halter sports bras right now. They're a little bit big on me, even with the adjustment around the neck. There's a tad bit of excessive material right under my underbust. You can see it bunches a bit right here. It just droops ever so slightly. I wouldn't want to adjust it anymore because the tighter it is, the tighter it's going to feel around my neck. Right now I'm very comfortable. So it isn't necessarily about tightening it. You have a ruched detail right in the center of the bra. It's a normal scoop neck. You do have removable bra pads. I think you totally could get away with taking a mount though, given the material. There's no extra hooks built into this bra. So it's not like you can add more straps. You can't take this halter bra and move the straps around or play around with it. It is exactly how it is. So it's just one strip of solid material going all the way around town. It is very low support and it held up really well when I was working out. But this is all I really need. I need low support, cute as hell sports bras. I don't really prefer high support, high coverage sports bras. These held me in just fine. When I was moving around, bending, moving all over, I didn't feel any side boob slippage, no front boob slippage, no nip slip for that matter. It held my boobs in perfectly. Ultimately, my takeaway is if I could do it all over again, I do think I would have sized down. I feel like this extra material gets annoying after a while just knowing it's there. I think if I sized down, that would have really helped that out big time. And since you still have the ability to adjust the strap around the neck, I think I would have been just fine with an extra small. Now do keep in mind, I think this is an adorable fit for the gym. I don't think this would be ultra comfortable to wear all day long. Given that I have to tighten it, it's a fairly thick seamed strap. It wasn't uncomfortable at the gym while I was working out, but I do feel like if I'm wearing it for quite a few hours, that's when I'll start to feel it around the neck. Like right now I feel fine, I don't feel anything. I do think all day wear, I might feel differently. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. Again, these drop May 12th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you so much if you choose to support me by using my code GATA at checkout. And it does help you save 10% off of your entire order. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.